Hello everyone. Let's learn how we can insert a PDF file into your Microsoft Excel, right? So to inserting the PDF file to Microsoft Excel, you need to go to the data tab. Then here you are having the option called get data. The moment you click over here from file, you can click from PDF, right? So in that way, you can insert a file, but let me show you which PDF file I want, I want to insert it over here, right? So I have already opened it. I do have a 386 pages in this PDF, but I am going to demonstrate only few pages, how you can insert it in Microsoft Excel, right? So here, if you see the pages, these are the post offices of a revision list of post offices in India, right? I wanted to insert all this data in Microsoft Excel. So please watch my video till the last. I'm going to explain each and every aspect how beautifully you can insert these data to Microsoft Excel. Right, I need to get data, then from file, I need to click, click on from PDF, right? Here I need to locate my file where it is, this file and click OK. It will take few times, it depends upon the speed of your internet and the file size. More pages require more time. But have a patience. Let's see how exactly it does. Right? Uh, it keep on loading. But at the same time, I'm going to show you all the explanation how you can clean up the data before you are going to insert in your real Excel file. Let it load, then I'll show how exactly you need to do it. Okay, here everything has come. What you need to do, you need to select over here and go to transfer data. So the moment you click on, another window will open up that is called Power Query Editors. Now these editors will, what exactly it will do, whatever the editing you do it, it record on this applied step first, number one. Second, to see your data, always make sure that in, in, in front of table number one, if you click over here, it will preview your data. To go back, you need to select on source, right? So here, all the steps will be stored over there. Right, so let me delete this too. Source is there. Now already you know where the data is there in that table. Why is it so? Because in few cases, you wanted to import the data from the PDF, but all the pages are not having that table, right? So this actually process find out the table in which page number it is there. Okay, let me show you the examples how exactly you can sort clean the data from here itself at the same time inside it. If you see the kind, it has got a two kind over here. One is page and second one is a table. Already I have shown you the moment I click over here, data is showing. It means in, in front of table, the data is there. I wanted to insert the table. So in the kind, I need to select the first, the table instead of page number. So it will sort my data, right? So once I sorted this out, I wanted to do insert only three pages or three tables just to show you. So what I need to do, I can go over here, keep rows, the moment I top rows, the moment I click on, it is asking for how many rows you wanted to keep. Just for an example, I have said I am going to insert only three tables. So three, okay. So it is only showing the data of three tables and already I have explained you the data is there in the data tab in this table, right? What I can do it, let me select all this and delete it because these are the data I don't want. Data is here. Then after that, what I can do it, I can expand this one, right? And proceed to insert right okay so 
so here the data is been so has been showing like this so i can proceed for insert but before this you need to have a look just have a look all the data is proper or not take an example here i wanted to give a heading serial number state circular office regional office as a heading not data columns data column tools as a heading right what you need to do use fast row as a fast row as a header i need to click over here see it has been changed right in second one if you see if you have noticed in 21 data is not there i can clear it from here click over here i need to untick the null object and press ok so it has been cleared over over here i have already told you whatever the things you have been doing over here all the steps has been storing over here so that you can come back later and edit anything else now almost my data are ready and looks proper to me so i can proceed with close and load wait for a little bit it will first load to the internet then import to your excel file i am going to show you if you are not happy with the data you can go back and edit from power query also just please be online have a patience it will take little time see everything has been inserted by the excel automatically for you very perfectly right if you want to change anything else you can go to the query button over here and edit again same options will be available you can do the changes from here you can go to the source can the modifications the way you want and whatever the steps you want to do the modification you can do the same right if query button is not showing you over here how you can go over there take an example on your you are on the home tab and query tab is not showing you directly click over here it will open the same for you i hope you learn a lot thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you very much